Hello everyone, Dean on the Street, host of the Dean Blackman Show, back again with Dr. Michael S. Horney. Uh, he's the owner of Port Jefferson Chiropractic Massage Hypnosis and Weight Loss Center. All right, Correct? Dean. Okay. Yes, yes. Thanks for being with me again. My pleasure. Third of uh, third of three segments right now. Okay. Mm -hmm. Told you he likes to talk a lot. <laughs> um, listen, uh, Dean Blackman. Uh, anyone walking in is a patient for the first time, okay? I have uh, a lot of uh, discomfort, uh, back of my neck, upper shoulders, the traps. As a matter of fact, I even go for massage where they stand on my back and they, they, they dig into my traps, mm -hmm. okay? What, uh, when someone, come, a patient, come, a new patient comes to your office, uh, briefly just tell what, uh, how they greet it and what the process is. Okay, patient comes to our office, basically, we do a history, so I'm asking you questions. I want to make sure there's no red flags. You don't have shortness of breath, chest pain, changes in bowel or bladder habits, anything that might necessitate surgical or medical care. Okay, then I go through an examination from head to toe. I look at your feet, I palpate your muscles, I check range of motion. If we decide that, okay, based upon the history and the examination, we know what's going on, we do treatment, which is hands-on treatment, and we'll do it that day. We'll give you exercises to do at home, and we'll really educate you about day-to-day -day activities, how you use your body. So in a nutshell, that's it. There's plenty more, but I'm keeping it short. Okay, that's super. <laughs> Listen, uh, uh, I've wanted to discuss this with you coming over here. I mean, over the years, whether it be myself, I'm sure you as a chiropractor, many chiropractors are, are in North America and around the world, I'm sure they've heard uh, all, these, uh, all these myths around uh, chiropractic mm -hmm. and uh, chiropractic physicians. Mm -hmm. uh, I've, I've got about 10 of these myths that I'd like, uh, I'd like to ask you and Go for share it. with, because the listening audience out there, they've heard these myths mm -hmm. before, okay? A chiro number one is a chiropractic adjustment hurts. Absolutely not true. Um, if someone's not doing it well, it may hurt, okay? Generally speaking, chiropractic adjustments feel really good. My oldest patient was 97 years old. I've had young children as patients, so that's the entire spectrum. So chiropractic adjustments absolutely should not hurt, and if they do, that's something you need to speak to your chiropractor about. There's always a, a technique for a specific individual. Great. Uh, myth number two, uh, people say that uh, chiropractic care is expensive. Chiropractic care in the scheme of things is not expensive. Anyone out there, have you had an epidural steroid injection? Have you had back or neck surgery? I could treat someone for years, for years, for a lifetime, and probably get long-term the same results as someone who's had neck or back surgery. So wow. chiropractic adjust, I think chiropractic is very affordable. Once you start seeing a chiropractic doctor, you have to keep going the rest of your life. That's your choice, okay? If someone ha if someone's 18 years old and you know they have some type of like simple type of injury and they get adjusted and they feel good and a couple of adjustments, they're fine. But let's say you are 70 years old and you have multiple degenerative changes through your spine and you have a 50 year history of spinal pain. Should you go for the rest of your life? Yeah, it can manage your care. Just like if someone has diabetes, once they're feeling better, you don't stop the, the medication, wow. right? You know, so that's a choice that every single patient makes and it's based upon all these individual factors. It's not a rule of thumb that like once you go, you it's get addicted to, to it's chiropractic. It's up to each individual. It's up to every single patient. You don't get addicted to chiropractic. You go to chiropractors because it's your choice and you feel it's helping you. And if you go to any chiropractor who makes you feel uncomfortable, that if you don't go, something bad's going to happen, um, I would question that particular chiropractor. The choice is yours. Okay. Myth number five, chiropractic doctors only treat back pain. That's a, Chiropractic doctors treat back pain predominantly because that's what people come to chiropractors for. But aside from headaches, neck pain, pain going down your arm, tingling and numbness, aside from pain, the big picture that we talked about in one of the segments is to enhance your body's natural ability to function better, to heal better. Chiropractors through adjusting the spine affect your nervous system and that's how it can it affect your entire body and help it heal better. And then there's all the other ancillary things that most chiropractors are into natural health. Weight loss, eating healthy, exercising, stress management, all of those 
things. Wow, very good. So it's good. definitely not only for pain. That's kind of what people may be coming to see us for. It's a much bigger picture of that in very terms good. of your health. Myth number six, children don't need chiropractic doctors. Chiropractors adjust kids all the time. I adjusted my kids from the time they were babies. There is actually, there are some chiropractors who specialize in pediatrics. There are studies that show with infantile colic that chiropractic adjustments, and it's very gentle adjustments. You have to realize that are helpful. Um, ear infections, there's a lot of evidence that chiropractic treatment can help with that. So I think kids are absolutely can get adjusted by chiropractors. And as I said, there are some chiropractors, that is their specialty. They've taken postgraduate hours in pediatrics. It's very, very safe. Wow. Okay, myth number seven chiropractic services are not covered by insurance? Almost every single insurance covers chiropractic care. Medicare covers chiropractic care. If you're in an automobile accident, chiropractic care is covered. If you have an injury at work, chiropractic care is covered. Any major medical um, chiropractic is covered. And because we're portal of entry, which I, I mentioned briefly before, that means you don't need a referral typically from any physician. You can come to us directly um, and then we can treat you and your insurance is going to cover it. Wow, myth number eight, here's the big one. Uh, chiropractors, chiropractor doctors do not have as much uh, schooling as medical doctors. Well, here's, here's the deal. I went to school, I have an undergraduate degree. Um, chiropractic school is about 5,000 hours, so it's like typically four years, similar to medical school, dental school, podiatry school. I think the big difference with physicians um, and, and chiropractors, physicians then go on to a residency. Chiropractors, there are certain residencies like in radiology, but most chiropractors after school, they're going into practice. Like I have a postgraduate degree, 500 hours in chiropractic orthopedics. But the difference is, like they're in, in physicians, they have a medical residency and specialties that chiropractic chiropractors don't have. So maybe that's where um, you're getting that information that they're less educated. It's it's the post chiropractic, post medical school, that's where it can change depending upon the specialty that someone. Hey, goes listen, into. as you know, my background uh, for three decades, uh, my family and I, uh, twin lab. Absolutely. I believe in uh, alternative medicine. And I believe in uh, the public having uh, their choice to pursue whatever quality of health care and well-being they, they want to. So all I know is for 36 years, you're doing something right and making a difference. In, Thanks very much, in a, in, I appreciate in, in, a, in a lot of people's lives. Thank uh, you. Really, really. Thank you. So um, myth number nine, prescription and over-the-counter drugs are safe. Dr everything has its place, okay? First off, chiropractors, by our license, are not allowed to prescribe. We're not even allowed to suggest an over-the-counter drug to a patient because that because we're licensed not to do that, actually, wow. or over the, or uh, prescription drugs. Every drug has its place. My philosophy, and generally with chiropractors, we're not against drugs. We just feel if you have a first choice where you can do something without medication, that's a better choice. It's safe mm. because... Every medication has side effects. Do you know Tylenol? That's one of the major causes of liver failure because people are taking Tylenol. They don't realize maybe they're drinking some alcohol and maybe they also have a cold and they're taking a cold remedy that has Tylenol, acetaminophen, okay? And the next thing you know, they're in liver failure. Now that's an over-the-counter drug right, right. or anti-inflammatories, over-the-counter, not even the prescription. There's a greater risk for heart disease, kidney disease. So even the most innocuous type drugs they can have detrimental effects if they're used improperly. It doesn't mean that they're not good right. drugs and it doesn't mean they don't, there's not a place for them, but they need to be used judiciously. And my philosophy is if I can help you or, or you can help yourself without medication, that's the first right. choice. Okay, myth number 10. Uh, chiropractic treatment rarely works. There's so much research on particularly chiropractic with back pain, headaches, and, and neck pain that absolutely it works and here is what I say to people who have been critical over the years of chiropractic okay if chiropractic didn't work why are people still coming to us you know there was a major conspiracy and this is on the record in court maybe around the 1970s with the American Medical Association the American Hospital Association all these groups they basically tried to 
kind of like put chiropractic out of business. And these chiropractors, individual chiropractors, sued them. And this case went on for years, and it was appealed. And these individual chiropractors won. That's wow. like a real David and, wow. and, and Goliath situation. And what came out in court is even when there was evidence showing that chiropractic care was helpful, political medicine, not your PCP, political medicine, the AMA, they suppressed it. And, and they were required to now tell all their members that you can professionally associate with chiropractors. So yes, chiropractic, it wouldn't be here if it didn't work. Insurance companies wouldn't cover chiropractic if it didn't work. It's, it's just a great choice if you if you're trying to get away from medicine surgery it's really conservative it's really safe it absolutely works and if we're not helping you we're going to refer you to someone who can thanks for being on my dean pleasure, on the dean. street the dean blackman show and for all my listeners there whether you're local uh dr michael s horny uh owner of port jefferson chiropractic massage uh hypnosis and diet center Weight right? loss. Weight Close. loss. Close. In, Close. In East Setauket. <laughs> and if you're not local, if you're not local and you're traveling in internationally, anywhere in North America, and if you're coming to visit the broadcast studio or to be on my show, and if you ever need a chiropractor, he's a great guy I and a very good that. chiropractor. Thank you. And uh, you should come and meet him. So I want to thank you very much Thanks for, again, Dean. For, being, uh, for being on the show. This has been Dean on the Street, host of the Dean Blackman Show. And until next time, you never know where I'm going to be, Dean on the Street. So watch out for me. See you soon. Bye-bye now.